Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know the drill. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. You guys can also follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Okay, so today I want to do a video regarding, it's actually a video response to Personal Finance Dad. He did a video and how he talked about how he believes there's going to be a sports card explosion in the year 2022. In that video, he was talking about how PSA is basically going to catch up more than where it's at right now. And because of that, people will be able to grade or they're going to be able to get their cards and they could sell them. A big part of the business in 2020 was people were buying raw, they were submitting to PSA, and they were just flipping them. And that was a great uh, business model for many. A lot of people, they started uh, not to lose money, but they weren't making as much money when PSA shut down, when BGS shut down, and so on. Right now, what's open, or the most open, is SGC. So you had that phenomenon. He's right, where people were able to arbitrage and make a great amount of money. But last year was really unique. It was unique in the sense that this is the first time in U.S. history where everything basically shut down. People were basically stuck at home, majority of the people, unless they worked maybe at hospitals and whatnot. And a lot of people were working from home last year. And because of that, and because of the fact that you couldn't go to games until maybe later on in the year, some baseball games you could have gone to in Texas. Anyways, everything was shut down. And because everything was shut down, people couldn't bet on sports games. So what they were doing, they were speculating on sports cards. Now things have opened up all throughout the country. Now, in some areas, you can't go to a basketball game, depending on your status. But regardless, the country is open. And everyone's acting like everything's back to normal. And yes, the flu season is going to be starting soon. Regardless, people are somewhat acting like normal. And I've noticed that many firms are going to now say, okay, you could come into the office three days a week. That's what it's going to, well, that's what's going to happen in the coming months for many companies. Right now, uh, some people are still working at home or they're working a day a week in the office. But that will change. Now, if you look at 2020 versus 2022, in 2020, after March, people were working at home, no sports games, and all this funny money from the Federal Reserve. And the money supply increased like crazy then. So you had people taking advantage of the arbitrage with PSA, the low cost of grading, and then also the free money that was given the stimulus checks. Now, no one's getting stimulus checks for the most part. And on top of it, things are slowly but steadily getting back to normal. And when you see that, it's, it's not completely back to normal because uh, there are a lot of people getting fired, for instance, in New York. Some doctors are getting fired. Some nurses are getting fired. Uh, because they don't want to take the you-know-what. And that's the case also at some firms. This is going to happen. So, the, yes, that is different than 2020. People are getting fired in 2020 because of the bad economy. Now it's because of this situation. But regardless, things are opening back up. You can go to stadiums. No one needs to wear a mask outdoors. If you're indoors, then you have to wear a mask. Regardless. So I'm just looking at one important factor. It has nothing to do with economics. I'm just looking at the fact 
things are getting back to normal. If things are getting back to normal, where's where are people going to put their money at? They're going to put their money towards regular goods. They're not going to be speculating to the extent that they were in 2020. Some people are going to that are involved in this hobby, but still not to that extent. And does this mean the whole thing is going to come collapsing down next year? No, I don't think so. I do believe, though, uh, the cards that are going to explode or you're going to have crazy sale prices are the ones that are scarce and the most demand, and you don't see that many auctions up. For instance, if you have a 1952 high-graded Mickey Mantle card, if you were to sell that, you're going to fetch a great amount of money. I believe one is already up on golden auctions, and that's going to end next week. I believe the price is $900,000. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I see a rare Brady rookie that's going for over a million dollars right now on golden auctions. So cards like that are going to do really, really well. Are they going to explode higher? Probably. I mean, when you have interest rates artificially low, that makes sense. When you have inflation to the extent that we have, yes. Now, is it regarding every other card? No, I don't think so. The huge explosion was in 2020 and also part of earlier this year in February and March. That's when you saw the crazy prices. Everything started to tank shortly after. And then you got a rebound after the Chicago Convention or the Chicago National. So that's one thing to note. The other thing to note, what I expect in terms of prices, I expect players that tend to do better than expectations, those cards should go higher. I caught the title of personal finance that I haven't looked closely into the prices, uh, but he was saying, I believe it was Josh Allen cards are going higher uh, than Patrick Mahomes cards. Patrick Mahomes cards are going lower because Mahomes isn't doing as well. You have other individuals as Herbert. I believe Herbert cards are going on the rise because he's doing pretty well on the Chargers. And he is on my fantasy team that I do or that I do at work. So there's that about Herbert. So any player that exceeds expectations, those cards are going to be doing pretty well. So that's what I have to say about that. And I know some people are going to disagree here. They're going to be like, hey, look, um, you still have the economy, the stock market going up. You still have inflation that's out of control. So people got to take their money out of the banking system, take, the, take it out of the U.S. dollar, and they got to put in the tangibles. They got to put in the collectibles. I understand that. But the big push was last year. And I look at the money supply. And maybe I'll put that graph again in this video after I edit this. But the money supply went crazy last year. And in that, the stock market went crazy, sports cards went up like crazy, other asset classes like Bitcoin went up like crazy. Now, are we going to see that throughout the market, throughout all sports cards? No, it's going to be a select few cards that are just going to explode. Other cards should hold steady, could see it appreciate slightly. There are cards, and I've stated before, that I believe over the long term, even if the market crashes in the next few years, I'm looking for maybe cards like Pacquiao. Pacquiao cards could explode if he becomes the prime minister of the Philippines. They have gone up pretty well over the past year, year and a half. But if he becomes president or prime minister of his country, they're going to go up. I bought one autographed car that I showed you the other day. There are potentially UFC cards. Those cards tend to do well on golden auctions. I told you that some McGregor card went for forty over $40,000. I told you that a Khabib card went for over $26,000. I So I'm looking at some UFC cards over the long haul. And I noticed that John Jones cards are pretty cheap. 
I'm not an expert in UFC, but the leader, Dana White of the UFC, or the president, he says he's the GOAT. If he's the GOAT, you know, I, I saw some comments saying that, no, there's other people that are the GOATs. I'm going by what Dana White's saying. Dana White's saying he's the GOAT, okay? And if he's the GOAT, I would expect his cards to be much higher, and they're not. And th that's what I'm looking at. So an explosion throughout the market? No, I think it's going to be a selective explosion. And what I've told you, what I'm doing, I say it in a lot of my videos, I'm selling the cards that have gone up four, five, six X for me, taking some of those profits, and I'm just putting them into autographs. And that's just my strategy probably for the next few years. And I don't care if the market crashes. I'm just probably going to keep those autographs unless I need the money. And that's where I'm at, guys. But anyways, uh, let me know what you think. Explosion next year in sports cards. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below. And follow me on Instagram, guys. All right, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.